you've been around enough athletes, in particular Major League Baseball players, to know they are nothing if not creatures of habit. And I don't care that Michael Walker tweeted from the airplane as they sat on the tarmac for seven hours the following. Nobody's in a bad mood or anything like that. The attitude is pretty good. That has to have some sort of, I don't believe him. I think, you know, everybody's kind of surly sitting there seven hours on the tarmac. What kind of effect do you think that kind of delay, that kind of breaking of the routine might play tonight? I do agree that athletes are creatures of habit, and I'm sure the Cardinals would have preferred this not to happen. But that said, when the first pitch is thrown tonight, I can't imagine this having any effect. Mm -hmm. Did it probably throw their preparation off a little bit? I guess. Yes, it probably did. But this is too important, and it's interesting. If I'm them, I'm embracing this whole back-to-the-wall thing, our backs are to the wall, embracing the, look at this, we couldn't even get our flight on time, nobody believes in us, the typical cliched stuff that, unfortunately, often works. And I go from there. I, I'm the Red Sox in 2004 against the Yankees, in my head. Right. And they've been and great in elimination games and kind of kind of clutch. I think they look in the mirror and see, well, Matheny looks in the mirror and sees a model, but uh, the rest of them look in the mirror and they see a clutch team. You're right. They see a, a Red Sox of 2004. But tell me this, Kenny, anything different tonight? We know Gomes is going to be in left and uh, Victorino goes to right and, and, uh, and Nava sits down. We expect Craig to DH Adams at first. Everything uh, go as expected as far as you know? Yes, the only thing that I'm curious about is whether they go with Beltran in the cleanup spot again or return him to the second spot. And on the conference call yesterday that they had with the media, I actually asked Matheny if that was the plan. He said, they're looking at some different things, and they haven't committed one way or the other. Obviously, they need to get something going, and ultimately the order doesn't matter all that much, but you might want to put Beltran back in the two spot to get him into the game earlier and just get this team jump-started again. I'm not sure that would do it, but... I would consider that strongly. Have you seen any cracks, any flaws in Waka at all? I know we all just kind of jumped on the Waka bandwagon of late, most of us. Um, and we know he's undefeated in the postseason, and he's just uh, his ERA is under three in his last, I'm uh, under one in his last three starts. Uh, is he vulnerable at all in your mind, Ken? It's hard to say that he is right now based on those numbers and based on just what he's done. The rap against him has been his lack of a breaking ball, and yet he has shown that increasingly as the season's gone on and even in the postseason. It's not a big pitch for him. The fastball changeup combination is what makes him go, but he's even done that with the curveball now. So, no, I have not seen anything that leads me to believe this guy's not going to be very good tonight. The advantage for the Red Sox, if there is one, is that they've now seen him once, and that can be an advantage, but I don't expect Waka to be anything less than really good. The question is how good Lackey will be, and just if the Cardinals' offense, again, ignites. So, Ken, tonight, let's say, you know, first inning is an out, Pedroia doubles, first base is open, Ortiz comes up. What is Matheny going to do in that spot? To me, the choice is obvious. It's been obvious, really, since game one. You walk him. And... I understand that Adam Wainwright is a really good pitcher, and he doesn't like to put people on base. And, my goodness, you're Adam Wainwright. You can get David Ortiz out. But the way Ortiz is going right now, why would you do this? It's not like Manny Ramirez is hitting behind him. You've got other players who are good, but they're not David Ortiz. And I just don't see the logic in what the Cardinals have done here. And I would expect that it would change. I can't imagine they're going to keep going after him the way they are. For more, visit weei.com slash video.